Hi guys, it's Jamie Greenberg, and I'm so lucky because I have no makeup on today. And I'm here with Beta Beauty. <laughs> if you guys don't know about Beta Beauty, you need to get on the Beta train right now. All of her information is going to be below. You got to subscribe. I fell in love with her and I decided like let's do a video together now I'm always doing everybody's makeup but beat has got mad skills and I never wear full face and if you're a zero to a ten I'm always like kind of around four or five maybe every once in a while five and a half so I called in my girl Beta we're gonna beatify you today. Beatify me, <laughs> beat up my face and we're yep. doing it at Hourglass Abbott Kinney in Los Angeles we're doing it. So she's gonna do this. We're gonna just do a tutorial of how to beat your face. Like KK, Kim yeah. Kardashian. Yeah, let's do it. Should let's we do, do it? it? Let's do it. Let's do the damn thing. Let's do it. Jamie has dry to combo skin, so I'm gonna use this serum primer all over her face. And then I'm gonna go in with the Veil Mineral Primer, just like a really tiny amount, and saturate her T-zone with it. So let's do it. So next I'm gonna go in with number 28 primer serum. This right here, you need such a small amount. It's a serum, so it's gonna be way more penetrating into the skin as opposed to a, you know, like a basic cream moisturizer. So now we're just gonna let that soak for like two minutes, let it penetrate and absorb into the skin, and then while it's doing that, I'm gonna do her brows. Uh-oh. Now, I don't have much brows, so good luck with that. So next, for her brows, we're gonna go in with this Hourglass Arch Warm Brown Pencil, and guys, I just fell in love with this. It was love at first sight. If you know me, you know I like my pomades, but this is like all in one. I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Concealer in Natural and a slanted brush and just carve out her brows. And this is where I clean up any mistakes or the shape to the way I want it to be. with this arch pencil. I want to just set like the little parts here where she doesn't really have hair to keep this in place all day, all day. I used this shade from the Modernist palette and I actually really love it because it's super creamy and it comes on without looking harsh. I'm gonna go in and do her eyes because I want to do something very smoky with them. And I'm gonna use Next. tape. And before I apply the tape, I just like to put it on the back of my hand, which is already clean and sanitized. We're gonna just place this right here. And the reason I like to do that is after you're taking the tape off, you don't want it to peel your client's skin. So just look down for me. Look down for me, mommy. <laughs> look up. Does that feel comfortable? Totally. Okay, look down. Okay. It's all about base. And I'm gonna use the same concealer we're using with a fluffy brush. No trouble. No trouble. Um, and then I'm gonna <clears throat> swirl it all over her eye socket and eye base. I'm all about, about that, that face. About that, that face. face. No, no trouble. I'm mm -hmm. all about that face. About, about that face. face. Nope. <laughs> oh, Jamie. Oh, girl. Girl. Follow you. I love you. So I'm gonna go in with this Modernist palette in the shade Graphite, and I love this shade here, and I'm just gonna set her whole eyelid with it. I know when it highlighting, that could only mean one thing. So I'm gonna go in with the Modernist palette in the color Infinity and Atmosphere, and we're gonna place the darkest color right towards the outer corner of the eye and build it gradually to the lightest shade. 
One eye's already done. And now she's gonna do the other eye for you. with a dampened brush and apply it right onto her tear duct. Tear duct. And That's it's good to know that you can dampen. Yeah. Dampen this. Oh yeah, it makes the color more intense. This mechanical gel liner, which by the way is bomb.com, right onto her lash line, and we're gonna smudge it off. concealer that we used earlier and I'm gonna just create like a wannabe upside down triangle slightly and then blend it all out and this is awesome because it has some peach undertones to it so it's good for canceling out any discoloration Okay, we're gonna go back in with the ambient light edit and just go ham. I'm gonna use these two shades under her eyes to set and I like it because it looks like it would be shimmery but when you apply it, it's not shimmer. It gives you like a radiant effect. So if you're feeling dull, it's gonna lift you. Yeah, and that's nice because it's like so finely milled. Like there's not like Super. chunks of like. Yeah, look at this. And then I like to always go around these areas because Jamie is combo skin. So she can we can we can go ham on her T zone, okay? So again, back in with our best friend right here. <laughs> I'm gonna bronze up her face with this large brush. And then we're gonna go in and define her cheekbones. Back in with this palette right here, I'm gonna take this shade and carve out her cheekbones. And usually what's a good guideline is you wanna go right from this area where your ear begins, and that would be her line. So back in with the net it, we're gonna take this blush color and apply it to her cheekies. Make this little face for me. Yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm. mm, so pretty, you guys. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna add a little bit of highlight. We want her glowing. So my favorite part, we're gonna take this lip liner and it's panoramic and then I'm gonna go over it with Muse. And just look at this next to Jamie's skin. It just lights me up. Like, I'm trying to be twins. We're trying to be twinning. Twinning.
love the way I look. It's so fun, it's so different. It's not my normal go-to every day. It's like heavy glam-tastic. It's heavy glam-tastic, and it's with a line that I use called Hourglass that's usually, I can use it really light, but it just shows you the versatility with makeup. It's all about how you do it. Exactly. Like, normally, Jamie likes to be more fresh and natural looking, but today, I wanted her to look like she's going to the club. Usually, when you do this heavy of a glam, it's good for photography or when you're being filmed. I can't stop staring at myself. <laughs> Maybe I should wear more makeup. Anyway, I love it. I hope you guys love the two. Comment below. Let us know what you think. Yeah, I want to know what you guys think. We will comment back. Go over to Beta's channel, Beta Beauty, and check her out and subscribe to both our channels. And have a wonderful week. Thank you to Hourglass for letting us shoot this wonderful video. We love you guys. Love, you, love guys. you guys. Bye, you guys. Bye. And thank Bye. you, Beta. Bye. Bye.